everybody. Uh, this is just a little quick walkthrough of the STG Discord. Wanted to give it like a whole little overview. Maybe it'll be some helpful stuff for any new clans that are looking at this or anybody that comes in here and you have no idea what the hell this is. Maybe you will learn a little bit. So obviously we have our new people channel. A little bot that says hello. Super useful if you ever guys want to get it. It's YAG PDB. Um, we got a how to join checklist. Tells new people all six steps what you need to do to get in. Super simple. Uh, we have a handbook. It's a couple pages. Basically has all of our rules, all that stuff in it. Very useful to be able to fall back on that when you know I'm not here or somebody that you know, knows the rules isn't here. You can be like, well, hey, let's just read the handbook. Uh, that's people that actually care, which I like those people. But anyway, um, we have a application as well. Really, it's more so uh, just a get to know you than it is an exam. Uh, but people do have to answer a couple questions that are highlighted in uh, bright, bright red on the handbook, and you can't miss it. So it just says like, hey, this guy came through, he answered the questions, he actually read, and he actually cares a little bit, which you kind of have to do when you want to join a like full-on gaming community, right? Then we have a download for our mod pack. It's a little hefty, but it's super simple. All you gotta do is just download this and it turns into an HTML format download. You just import that into your Arma and it's like it's like that, it's super easy. Um, so server info, obviously we got all of our IPs, all that stuff. We got Patreon, got a big giant friend finder group thing that we have. Uh, we use this, I don't know how useful it is, but it's there for anybody in the clan. <clears throat> if you don't have your Steam link to your Discord, you can make a Steam thing. Let me try to go to it real quick. Probably take me on here. Ah, go to group chat. Yeah, SCG Friend Finder. And this is our little group chat we use to talk to a whole bunch of other people. And uh, you can cross-reference Discord and Steam that way. You can talk to people without having to add a thousand people and ask them like, oh, what's your fucking, you know, what's your profile name? Anyway, so under communications, I'm not going to go into this. You got your standard announcements, general chat, all that stuff, technical help. I'll skip over that. For the uh, the technical aspects of everything, we have our attendance, which is very simple. Uh, once a week, someone posts, you know, whatever days we're playing. Give a thumbs up for the day you're coming, thumbs down for the day you're not, or you might come. And then our Zeus's uh, react with a lightning bolt to let us know by Tuesday or Wednesday, They've claimed that they're going to be the Zeus that day, so we don't have to worry about it. Um, we have operations channel, which here is like my favorite part because we can actually see the missions we're going to do days in advance because someone wrote a operation order. It's like, you know, situation, orientation, mission, all that stuff. Got a little salt report here or a salute report here. Basically just an overall brief of the mission. Not super specific, just enough for people to know like who we're playing as, what are we going to do? Yada, yada, yada. Super simple. Op orders are very easy. And if we go to screenshots, this is just a little place for people to share some cool stuff that they see. People like talking about ops afterwards. And then training requests is a really important one because anybody that wants training, instead of having to talk to people or DM a thousand people, it's useful to go to training requests and just say, hey, uh, I need, I'll be here. You know, hey, we have our schedule right here. Hey, I'll be here at 6 EST for this training. And whatever moderators assigned to that day knows, hey, I got this guy coming so they can prepare their paperwork, which is super easy. Uh, donations, obviously. And then uh, the last two really important things um, is the roster and player reporting. Now, player reporting, super simple. Basically, any good thing someone did in the op, have a place for you guys to be able to say, hey, this guy did a good thing. And you can actually see it forever until it's deleted. And that way you don't just forget, like when that one guy did something that saved everybody, and then the next week, maybe he does something bad. Well, it's like, well, this guy is actually a pretty solid dude. He just had a bad day. So you can actually fall back on this stuff. So if any of these guys ever got a good report, so have, something bad happens, that can, you know, they've got a history of good stuff. So they can fall back on that. And you can also promote people based on this kind of stuff. It's super, super useful. And then the last thing is the roster. So the roster, it, I mean, it's super relaxed it's not that heavy of a uh, excel spreadsheet i'm not great at sheets but it basically just helps us keep track of who's in what job anybody can go look at this and we also have squads people are assigned to so that way they're not supposed to be admins that are squad leaders uh, they're just people that are like lower level management that don't have a huge obligation that people can talk to uh, if they ever have any problems now <laughs> i will admit that 
a lot of people would just go straight to me to ask questions, which is not great because you shouldn't have the number one guy answering questions of brand new people, which I'll, I'm happy to do it. But they have squad leaders to go to for the simple stuff that can they can help them. I think that promotes you know respect, you know up and down, not just go straight to Zach when he's got questions. That's why I do it that way because everybody's like a, everybody's a leader in their own way. Um, and yeah, so that's that's the roster. We've also got all of our qualifications that we keep track of. Super simple. Uh, we just have actually got this from a guy before named T Guy. He was on our clan. He uh, I think he's still a friend of clan actually somewhere down here. Um, came up with a system of just doing X's, right? Super simple. Just put the classes on that axis, put the names here, just put an X under which class they got. So that way we can keep track of how many classes people have done and we know when to promote them and all that stuff based on what they've qualified. So if your unit does do classes and stuff like that, probably a pretty good idea to do something like this. But uh, anyway, I want to show you the admin stuff. I'm super boring. Basically just putting out agendas for the staff. Uh, me putting out announcements for the rest of the staff to see and a little place for the moderators to talk to each other. Other than that, we have some other boring stuff you can look at. But uh, yeah, so that's our Discord overall. That's uh, where we post all of our stuff, where we basically everything goes through for scheduling, training, new people, you name it. It's all coming through here. So yeah, that's kind of one of the most important things you can have with the Army community is somewhere for everybody to go to and talk call it your barracks or your meeting room or whatever but uh, having a pretty detailed schedule and all that stuff very useful so i will see you guys in the next little episode i do where i just show like our server and how that works so see ya